of us. I want all the shepherds to begin to sound everywhere. We're not going to stay too long tonight. Can we lift up our hands to the Lord? Can we just bless the Lord for a new moon and another full moon? Let's bless him for a new moon, another full moon. In Jesus' name. Can you? The first prayer request. After thanking God for the full moon. Can you ask him to carry you on the wings of the spirit? This coming month is going to be a very mysterious one. You need to be in the wings of the spirit. Don't be found outside the wings of the spirit. You will understand why in a moment. Tell him, Lord, I have come to enter into covenant with you. To carry me in the wings of the spirit, not on the wings. The two grammars are different. In the earth and on the earth are two different meanings. Ask him to carry you inside the wings. He said, I will cover you with my hands. Tell him to carry you in the wings. That's the covenant I made. I preached in a Sunday service today somewhere. And a couple came to me, particularly the head of the house. And he said, you had asked God to take me and make me find favor outside and bring me back safely. And the Lord has honored this word by your mouth. And he has blessed me. Can you tell him to carry you in the wings? That is, tell him that is where I'm safe, O oh Lord, in the wings of the spirit. And let the blessings of the Spirit follow me there. Establish me. As the four winds begin to clamor over Nigeria, the four winds are going to go to war. In this February, the four winds are going to clash. Four winds. Whether from the book of Zechariah, chapter 1, or Daniel chapter 1, I mean, Daniel chapter 7, verse 1, Zechariah chapter 1, Daniel chapter 7, verse, verses 1 to 4, or Revelation chapter 7, the winds, the winds, the winds, the winds, the winds, they are going to clamor. There is going to be a wave can you tell him, Lord, I will prefer to be in the wings of the Spirit during that clash? As heaven on the earth and the earth fight for the soul of Nigeria. That's why tonight we're going to break bread. And the meeting might be shorter than before. But we're going to break bread. Jesus, carry me, carry me upon the wings of your spirit. Carry me, Jesus, carry me. Oh, carry me, Baba, upon the wings of your spirit. there is anything you personally wants to settle with God in this moment 
Before we begin the breaking of bread tonight, I want you to just move to the altar, kneel down there and say, Baba, as the wings clash, I want you to repair every damage in my life. Take advantage of the wind to rearrange everything that concerns me. You want to pray that prayer? I just introduce you to three, four scriptures. The winds. The winds. The four winds. Clashing. Kings going to war. The battle of kings. Spiritual and physical war. Are there things you want God to help you rearrange during these battles? That when all the noise is down, your life will find itself in a new place, upon a new ground, a new pedestal. Let's ask the Lord. Let's ask the Lord. Let's ask the Lord. Upon the wings of the Spirit, Baba, carry me. Jesus, carry me. Carry me. Baba. Upon the wings of your Spirit. Carry me, Jesus, carry me, carry me, carry me upon the wings of your spirit. Carry me, Jesus, Jesus, carry me. As you visit, oh God, rearrange my life this February. Upon the wings of your spirit. As you shake the heavens and the earth again. Jesus, carry me. Come on. Carry me, O oh God. Carry me. Upon the wings of your spirit. Come on. Carry me. Jesus, carry me. Oh, carry me. Carry me. Upon the wings of the wings of your spirit. scripture we will read in our prayer as we continue praying. The Bible says in Psalms 110 the Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion rule thou in the midst of thine enemies can we ask the Lord to release his strength out of Zion now to subdue and subject his enemies as we enter into this month of February let a rod enter the spirit of a rod, subduing and subjecting, rewriting the stories in heaven and rewriting the story on earth, rewriting the story in Nigeria. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength to begin to subdue for you out of Zion from the place of the altar. The Lord will send a rod. Can you release the rod, watchmen? Father, I release the Lord. I call for the rod. I call for the spirit of the flying scroll 
fly through Nigeria. Oh Lord of God, walk through the land. Walk through Africa. For those of you who are in other nations joining us today, ask the Lord to carry a rod. The meaning of Shevat means rod or scepter or a twig. The twig for Bulala. A scepter. A scepter. Scepters are connected to crown, authority, and rulership. Whichever one you want, release that. Release the strength of your arm, O oh God. Can we ask him to break the pots and the pot, the pot hides or the pot sheds, they call them. Every pot of witchcraft, break them. Every boiling pot whose smoke have been controlling Nigeria and Africa, break them. Break them. Break them. Break them. Break them. Bible says thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning thou hast the dew of thy youth can you ask God to restore back your strength your glory your crown from the womb of the morning let the dew of your youth be restored whatever is due to you let it come back. In the midst of all those warfares and clashing and rejoicing, let your dew, the dew of your youth, let your life be reborn. Let it come back. Let a new crown sit on your head. Let the Lord set a fire around you. And sanctify you. The Lord had sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever. After the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike true kings in the day of his wrath can you tell him to the left and to the right of your hand let him strike true kings those exerting rulership oppression over you by which they have gained notoriety let the lord strike The kings that are not qualified, let them be smitten. For the election is going to be the battle of kings. And a lot of deception is going to take place. Spiritual witchcraft and spiritual deception. I saw the spirit of deception.
stand up, those of you who are kneeling, remain standing in front. And I want the whole congregation. Can you begin to break the spirit of deception around you, around your house, in your place of work, in your destiny? Tell God on this altar, I release you into my house to handle deception for me. Break the spirit of deception. Of course, Jeremiah 9, 5 says, And they will deceive everyone his neighbor and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity. In every one of those parties is a spirit of deception. Can we break the veil of deception? It has ruled for too long. Break the veil of deception. Zechariah chapter 4, 13, 4. The Bible says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the prophets shall be ashamed, every one of his vision, when he had prophesied. Neither shall they wear rough garment to deceive anymore. Let's ask the Lord to break the pot of deception. I saw smokes of deception. So after the election, some will begin to bite their teeth and say, why did we make this mistake? Nigeria seems to be going through the cycle every time. Can we tell the Lord, let his rod cast them down. Let his rod destroy the spirit of deception. Somehow, I see the chosen ones of God hidden behind the smoke of deception. That means deception has taken the forefront and you cannot see them. There is only one puncher. If God punctures is right, that which was chosen will manifest. Can you tell him to break again the spirit of deception? In this election. Ephesians 4.14 says. That we henceforth be no more children. Tossed to and fro. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. By the slate of men. Can we break down strange winds of doctrine? That these ones are riding on strange doctrines by which this spirit of deceptions are riding on. The Bible says, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. That is Ephesians 4:14. 4, that we henceforth be no more toast or be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait Carry me, 
Jesus, carry me. Carry me upon the wings of your spirit. Carry me. Jesus, carry me. Carry me. Carry me upon the wings of your spirit. Carry me. Jesus, carry me. of your spirit carry me Jesus carry me put your hand upon your forehead now I'm going to ask you to ask to do something by faith if you believe that it is safe do it tell the Lord to smite your forehead and destroy every band of deception every band smite my forehead and destroy every band of deception around me every band of deception that the eyes of my understanding be open that i may see clearly that my understanding might become plain and nebuchadnezzar after he had been smitten for seven years Suddenly his eyes were opened and the witchcraft that deceived him was taken away. And he proclaimed that there is no other God in heaven except the Lord God Almighty. Today tell the Lord to smite every band of deception, deception. And losing my life now. Let my eyes become clear. Smite the band of deception in my office, my ministry, my life, my home. Smite, smite, smite. Can you ask God to anoint you with seeing eyes? Anoint me with sight, with soundness, with understanding. Sight, soundness, understanding. Smite the band of deception, of deceit. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
for tonight. of God's jealousy to enter from house to house in Nigeria, Africa and the nations of the earth tonight let it begin to break every altar of deception destroy the band of deception in your life in your home by which you have been taken captive I declare that yoke broken in the name of Jesus. Can you invite him to walk through the earth? Overturning everything he comes across. The spirit of jealousy. Let him come down from the altar in heaven and walk through Nigeria, walk through the earth. Smiting the spirit of deception. Breaking the yoke of deception. Removing the veil. Removing the blindness that has come upon the world for a season. Particularly for Nigeria. And opening a doorway of escape for your life. For your children and your children's children. Open that doorway of escape. Oh spirit of God's jealousy. If you can speak it, talk, speak it, talks for a moment. Releasing the spirit of jealousy to smite the veil of deception. The Lord told me something about that veil. So I'm not playing religion tonight. Smite the veil of deception. Scatter it. Let that spirit of jealousy leave heaven and sit over Nigeria throughout. God said, I shall be jealous for Israel. Tell the Lord, be jealous over me. Be jealous for me. Not zealous, but jealous. He said, I shall be jealous for Israel. Let him break every mystery. By his jealousy. Let him break the yoke and take it away from your shoulder. Lord, sit upon my head. Sit in my tabernacle. Break the yoke. Break the yoke. Break the yoke. Break the yoke. Can you put your hand upon your heart? Don't miss your heart. Because <laughs> some of you don't know where your heart is. If you don't know, look at me. Then you will know where your heart is. Put your hand on your heart. Can you say, Lord, by your spirit of jealousy and by the spirit of sacrifice, in the name of Jesus, break the yoke of deception and set my dwellings free and sweep them out in the same month and open a new ground of liberty for me. And for all that are mine, I receive the sweeping power of the Holy Spirit. Pass through now. Pass through my gates. Pass through my life. Pass through my ministry. The businesses you have put in my hands. 
Sweep with a flood. Sweep with a flood. Every raging spirit. Every raging power. Let them be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. Father, sanctify these ones that are standing out here with a new spirit. With a spirit of liberty they have never experienced before. Can you take in a deep breath? Breathe out in Jesus' name. Now, let the Lord begin to tear down from your life, your heart. Every false wall that have shaded you from your blessings. Whether they be human or spiritual. Whether they dwell in the same house with you. Or they dwell in the office or in the marketplace. Whether they are the very people you eat food with. And you don't know. Let their veil be cut off now. Every arrow and wound of theirs. That is attached to your soul. I command that wound to be healed up now. I command that arrow removed now. I release your deliverance into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the rod of the Lord to pass through your heart. Bringing liberty to everything in your life. In the name of Jesus I didn't hear somebody shout amen. As the Lord establishes his authority inside your body. And begin to set structures that are challenging situations and circumstances now. Receive your liberty everywhere you enter. Let freedom come upon you in every place you enter. With every food you eat now, deliverance will come. begin to bless God for your liberty, your deliverance. And particularly, use the word for your visitation. Because for some of you, God is taking away and breaking bonds and some others God is bringing in to fill the void. He's gathering back that which was stolen February shall be for you the month of recovery. The month of recovery. The month of recovery. In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Father. Oh, we give you all the glory. Ah, somebody, you know, I don't know why God is speaking to me in Hausa, particularly today, since the morning service. The Harishan Hausa is taking over. It's like somebody used razor blade to tear your skin from inside. I'm a tagani. I'm a tagani. I'm a tagani. chicken chicken. It just drew lines inside your belly. I see the wounds closing up. I see your sanity being restored. And your healing being perfected now. And I hear the Lord say, you can submit yourself to a medical checkup in case you had previously known that. Go back a second time. And there will be no wound in your, in, in your body. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. All the tears with razor blade. It was, it was razor blade, not knife. It's not chuku chuku by knife, razor blade. They just, they just used the razor blade to begin to tear. Some of you even on the face. Just tearing and cutting marks and casting spells. There are spells that were in those marks are broken now. So their control stations over your life is taken away. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to bless the Lord somebody? Just bless him. Like I did in the morning. Can you ask for the blood to begin to wash you clean? And just wash you clean. Set you free. Jesus knows all about Jesus knows all about and so good he will guide till the day is gone there's not a friend like the Lord Jesus no for taking away humiliation from you. Thank him, even before you go home tonight, for settling the fight for you, the fight. Thank him for taking away humiliation from Nigeria and settling the fight. Thank him for the rod of his authority that is standing over Nigeria in this season. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Oh, for grace. You may go back to your seat.
Yes, you reign. Yes, you reign. 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 Hey. You reign. You reign. I want to hold that flesh blood in your hands. And you may be seated for a moment, please. I want the holy sacrament of the altar of God that you hold in your hands to become a witness between you and that which is outside. That which you cannot see, but you know it's there. Let it become a witness between your soul and your spirit. Let it become the mediation for your rest, for your divine visitations. I sanctify them in your hands as living altars to speak on your behalf before heaven. And I invoke the spirit in the blood of Jesus inside that blood and the life in his bones inside that flesh that today every hidden yoke will be broken yeah. and the glory of the Lord will cover you yeah. and restore the dew of your youth yeah. the beauty of holiness yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ I want you to listen before you eat. Listen. I've never known this like this. You know, God keeps coming and telling new things and saying things, taking me from the last step to the last step. Fortunately, I forgot the notebook, my book of dreams and visions or whatever, if you call it, you may call that. I left it at home. I have two books that look the same. They are not the same. They carry different messages. The same color, the same everything. I carried the wrong one. And the Lord said, I didn't want you to look at a book. Because it's not everything you will reveal. But you will say only that which I will allow you until the time come. Listen. I saw the election in Nigeria casted in a veil. <laughs> it's like, uh, what do you call that? Is this Aladdin or Aladdin? The something of the seven thieves or whatever thieves. I don't know the story. But they carry either pots or calabashes. Aladdin go. And each one has a mystery. God said, the same way Jesus was shedded in a mystery, at birth, before he was born, if Herod knew which house he stayed, he would have killed him before the time. So also the king that is coming, is veiled. But you know the mystery? God outplayed the wisdom of the wise that are mischievous. And outplayed us Nigerians. God kept on giving me peace. Say, wait, when the time comes, even you, it should be a mystery to you. And the Lord told me all the 
the presidential candidates, the, particularly the top three or the top four, they are masks of deception. Forgive me. Uh, somebody reminded me that they too were prophets yesterday. So uh, I became afraid. A very major man was child of God in this country. Reminded me yesterday that they too were prophets. That uh, I hope you know we are also higher prophets now. And I said, yes, sir. But I will not testify against the Lord. Or against the spirit that I have seen speaking to me. And I will plead with you not to testify against the spirits you have seen. Micaiah saw a spirit. The other prophets also said they saw a spirit. But only one of them was telling the truth. That is how God masks a purpose so that it is not aborted. So that his glory. Look, Nigerians are wonderful people. There is nothing they cannot duplicate. Eh? There is nothing they cannot get a second for. They are masters in Wayo. How can you fight with a God who also specializes in mischief the day he wants to carry out mischief? Have you not read that in the Bible? That's why the Lord told, that's why we started, carry me in the wings of the spirit. Not on the wings, inside. I want to be invisible to my enemy and to those who have no business with my future. Even if they mean me well, they will not see me this time. The only one who will see me is the one who is carrying me to the place. When their eyes are open, they will see me in the place where I should be. I didn't hear somebody say amen to that. And the Lord said, my son, look closely. The presidential candidates are masked. The pointer to who is real are those behind them. The vice presidential candidates. So Lord, what did you say? He said, don't choose any pot yet. All the pots look the same. But the seed of life is only in one. And to decipher the seed of life, find the one that is behind him. And you know the interesting thing about I, all the vice president? They have a form of righteousness. Self-righteousness. All of them. Oh, I told them in the church where I preached this weekend. The Shetima, everybody thinks... He is the baddest. He is not the baddest. I'm talking about vice presidents now. The Okoa, everybody thinks he's the weakling. He's not a weakling. Whatever name you have given him is part of the game plan. The dirty that you think, oh, this is a straight one. Interestingly, I have met all of them. Not in the spirit, in the physical. I've talked with them mouth to mouth. All of them. From Shetima to all the others. I 
have looked into their souls. But I didn't know at that time it was for a purpose. While they were yet not even vice presidents. And even then, up till now, I am deceived until recently when the Lord said, can you look more closely? There is one with the mark. The seed of life. The seed of righteousness. My seed is in him. Follow the sign of that mark. Don't follow his leader. Because his leader is a transition. You don't understand the meaning of transition. Miss Evanosa the book. He said, one gate will lead you to another gate that will hand you over to the Savior. I said, what? He said, I have no alternative. I have to pass through them. Because the spirit of corruption has made it impossible for me to walk through without passing through them. The darkness has made it impossible for the spirit to walk through without walking through the darkness. He said, I will show them or I will show you that I am the Lord whose pavilion and covering is made up of darkness. I said, wow. Too, you are becoming too complex for me. He said, my son, stand back. It's not the battle for men. It's the battle for angels and ancients and those who are appointed for times and seasons. Don't be too quick casting your vote anywhere. Look and don't look through the front liners. They are transitions. He said there is an altar of sin that is walking all through the nation and even blinding the church that they cannot see. So in their panic, they seek for false refuge. Whatever meets the eye. They judge like Saul was judged. When Israel decided to choose a king, they followed looks. They didn't look for the seed of Jesse. They will have found him. If only they had asked the Lord, choose for me. God will have bypass everybody. And send the same prophet to the house of Jesse. That was where the seed was. But men decided they, they knew more than what they wanted. They knew God more. And Satan had set that trap. In order to cut off God from Israel. That's why in the first place they agitated for a king. And instead of allowing God choose and saying, God, we give you back the choice. God knew what was in their heart, what they wanted. They wanted a physical person that will inspire confidence, fear. A tall, huge man with muscles. When he walks, he's like, let him look like Goliath. Let him look like one of those giants. Fortunately, today is a killing of giants, even in Israel. Today is a killing of giants. Listen, because it is very important. Any giant that has tormented you up till today, you will not see them anymore. I don't care how long they have stayed in your house. I don't care how long they have stayed in your school. I don't care how long they have stayed in your office. The cutting off of their branches starts now. Yeah. 
So get ready to be carrying limbs and limbs, cut off limbs all over the place and burying them and sweeping the ground because God is about to do a thorough cleansing. My Chetona, <laughs> my Chetona, my Chetona, wa Yesune, a chicken ha no sanike shikumaya na sarona, my Chetona. I had the Lord said there will be a transition within transition. Might spring out my breed, my spring, bring forth. Even this afternoon, a politician visited me in my house. Very senior one. And I said, my friend, seek the path that is deeper. The first one is a veil. The second you should hold. Because the second will lead you to the mountain of salvation. He said, sir, what did you say again? And he stood there. And I told him that when he was going, I was seeing, trying to see him off. I said, play skillfully. Do not cast your vows everywhere. Play skillfully. He that has an ear, I will leave you with the rest of the assignment. Go look for the righteous seed. If you don't understand what I'm saying, go back to the internet and watch this thing very well. And replay that side. Keep on replaying it until your ears start hearing. Because as you replay it, you will hear. You will see. You will understand. Did we not ask the, for the spirit of jealousy to go forward? And we told you to put your hand and let him break the band. Uh, I almost spoke my language. That witchcraft that closes eyes has been removed from your head. Ah, this God is a strange God. And in the last four days, Satan knowing that I seem to be seeing a light that might expose the darkness, began to put pressure on me with all kinds of false flags until I became afraid not to proclaim what God has asked me to proclaim. Why don't you just keep quiet? Uh, if it happens, then you can tell them you saw it. And the Lord said, I have appointed today for announcement. You will not keep quiet, but you will not say what you want to say. And so he withdrew the book from me. Because I will have read every item there. And do too much of fufu. He told the prophets to hold back some things. Why? Some of the news there are not pleasant. And I should not get you excited. It will make me immature. By throwing those unpleasant news. It will make me the prophet who seeks after the glory of men. The Lord said, don't. If I brought that book, there is a likelihood as I keep talking, I will keep on getting provoked. And I will say those things that I shouldn't have said. God 
in three persons. Blessed three. You know, I was excited as I, was, I don't know whether it was Bakari, Tunde Bakari, that spoke about the Revelation horsemen recently. I, I saw it somewhere. I can't remember. Somebody. That these presidential candidates you see, they are like the horsemen of the book of Revelation. I said, ah, this man is getting too close to seeing what I am seeing. But what he didn't do is go beyond the horsemen. And don't forget, amongst those four horsemen, one was the savior. Go and read that in very well. One carried the banner. They were not all evil. One was a messenger. You just need to look clearly. Then you will know where the line of the messenger is. But many before they have started have already failed the exams. Their excitement and anger has blinded them. And they have not taken time to say, Lord, we have fasted. Uh, if you have fasted, then keep quiet and let him speak. There is too much noise in your head. Too much noise in your heart. The Bible says the Lord is upon his throne. Let the earth keep silent. We have not mastered the act of silence. Listen. Then he will make you see what you didn't want to see in the first place. He will make you understand the things you don't want to understand. I have met all of them. And I've been privileged to host two of the presidential candidates out of the three major ones. Two. At close range. Talked with them. Prayed with them. Two. I didn't visit them in their houses. They visited me in my own house. So. I didn't go knocking. They came knocking. And they said, we have heard that you are a door. Give us the key to your door. So that we can open and go in. Does the Bible not call you a key? Where the key is not given to Peter. To lock and unlock. To open gates. But you need to listen to know which key to use. Whether you should unlock Hades upon that person or unlock heaven upon that person. The two keys cannot be used at the same time. He that has an ear. That's the assignment for tonight. If the Lord pushes me for that to say more in Kafanchan this weekend on Friday, eh, maybe. But like I said, if you replay this tape long enough, you will hear what you were not hearing. You will see what you are not hear seeing. But tonight, God is not concerned about them because he has settled the issue of February. That's why we started praying and releasing the spirit of jealousy. Exactly what he wanted me to do is what I've done. But tonight God is concerned about you. That after the winds have passed, you will still not remain in the same place where you were yesterday. You will be in your tomorrow. You will be in a new place where the sons of the wicked cannot find you. Fidelis, they won't find you this year. Are you hearing me? They are not going to find you this year. Relax. Because
because the Lord has answered your prayers. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. Amen. That's my concern for tonight. And that answer is in Deuteronomy chapter 1. This month is the 11th month in the Christian Hebraic calendar. End of February stroke March. Most likely after the elections. Or at least after the presidential election. Now don't we worry me past with that. Eh? The governors, the winds will take care of them. They are more easier to choose. The choices have been made already. Than the presidency. The presidency is more difficult to choose. Somebody say, those of you who are careless saying, what is difficult there? We already know who the president is. Uh, thank God you put your hand on your head. That the veil be removed. Did you hear what I just said? Stop shouting and go back to your prayer room. And listen carefully. Unfortunately, you don't know too many hymns. Oh Lord our God, in ages past, ah, yes to come. Ah, shelter from the stormy wind, ah, those weddings any false ancient that has been shouting against you today we destroy that ancient <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 1 from verse 3 put it on the screen quickly so I don't need to run back to my Bible because we want to eat and it came to pass in the 40th year, we are in the 11th month of the Hebrew calendar. This is what happens in the 11th month. Ah, you won't enter into this 11th month fully until your enemy has fallen down. That means today, I give your enemies 24 hours. To pack their loads and go. Yeah. Otherwise, after 24 hours, the sword will settle the issue for us. I prophesy that upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. That is the cross of the matter tonight. 24 hours. Somebody say 24 hours. Why? Because you have entered the 11th month this evening. 24 hours. God gives one day grace, one year grace. There is a one day, one year. One day, one year. Stretch after which he does what he wants to do. Because there was no response from the enemy. And he thought God had forgotten or gone to sleep. It says, and it came to pass, in the 40th year, he told me chapter 1 verse 3. And we are reading up to 6 or 7. And then we'll jump to 11 I think. And it came to pass in the 40th year. In the 11th month. On the first day of the month. First day, 24 hours. I was just prophesying according to scripture. That Moses spake to the children of Israel. According unto all that the Lord had given him in commandment unto them. That is why I started by telling you the command concerning the elections. I was just following scriptural structure and pattern. 
Uh, go to the next verse. After, everybody say after. after. He had slain Sihon, the king of the Amorites. Now listen. Which dwelt where? In Hishbon. And Og, the king of Bashan, which dwelt where? As Ashtaroth. How many of you remember Ashtaroth, the queen? The marine queen, the queen of witches and wizards. She had a physical throne in a whole city that was named after her. And she set up her king to do wars. They were the toughest and impossible enemies for Moses to kill. Sihon. The word Sihon means devastation. He just leaves you scattered, devastated. He just, he, 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 he destroys everything in his way. Destruction, devastation. Sihon. Devastation. He doesn't take captives. Kills everything, destroys everything. Defaces everything. The face of Satan. After he had slain, can you hold that flesh in your hand? He said, Lord, upon this altar of covenant that I hold in my hands, even your flesh and your blood, tonight, within 24 hours, slay Sihon, king of the Amorites. In and outside my life, wherever they dwell, or ark of Astaroth, today I enter into covenant by this flesh as the Lord liveth. This month shall not carry the two of you in one place, or in my dwelling, in the name of Jesus. Let the sword of the Lord cut them off. Destroy the spirit of Baal in my house, in my country, Nigeria. I eat for the destruction of Baal, of Sihon, the fallen demon, in Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? Because your mouth has uttered it. Take the first bite. Only bite half. Hold the remaining half. No matter how hungry you are. I didn't say eat everything. No. Just half. It seals the words. You know God told Jeremiah. That was the scripture we concluded with this morning. The Sunday service here in Abuja. Where I attended service. That Jeremiah one night. He put his hand on his mouth. You just put his flesh in your mouth to seal an utterance you just made. Somebody must die for that utterance. Yeah. That one will be for free at all. Before this month is over, <laughs> story, story, want because you can't enter the next phase with a falling demon following you everywhere I say you cannot you have to enter free so I don't care whether they have tied you with sickness as that food they work out for your mouth may that sickness they drop out of your body I repeat as your mouth they work out may the sickness also they work out Make it come out, go in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. Amen. The internationals, forgive me for Waka. I know you understand what I mean by Waka. 
You know, I have my sons and my daughters abroad. Once I land off the plane, they start using slangs I use on the altar. They say, Oga Waka. They know it's a Nigerian slang. Ah, Jesus. I can feel a fire burning on my left toes. The whole of the toes there. Especially at the middle. Ah! The core where they have fried your life. Today, I decree that they be dug out of their roots. No remnant shall remain in judgment against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know it when God is doing a strange miracle. I don't know whether it's your chest. You have been struggling with something. I losing you and I set you free now. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Taking a deep breath. And when you breathe out, say thank you, Jesus. It's broken. But this one month uh, is not going to contain the will of God and the diversions of hell. Go to the next verse so that we understand it. I have sealed the altar of that script, that verse. Sihon. Every Sihon in your life. Those of you who don't know the history behind Sihon. Sihon beyond, belongs to those Genesis angels who were sent to visit the earth and they saw the daughters of men and they slept with them and gave birth to children now Sion is a great 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 grandchild of one of those products of those children so he was a big giant with either six or seven toes six or seven fingers he slept on a bed that was so tall like an iron. I mean an iron bed that was so tall. Eh? How many, long? So long, not, not tall. My wife is correct. It's not, it's not tall, it's long. And that's why we should have wives. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> His spear, he took another giant to hold the spear. Can you imagine if David could not wear the armor of ordinary sword? Then who will wear the armor of Goliath? The Bible says it was so heavy. Listen to me today. I don't care how big that giant is. It is falling within one month. it and bring back your testimony here. Because you have eaten it into your mouth. On this side of Jordan, in the land of Moab, began Moses to declare this law. Saying, the Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, you have dwelt long enough in this mount. You have suffered enough in this one place. You have dwelt long enough in this suffering. Turn you. Somebody say, turn you. Turn, you. turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, turn you. turn you. Turn to your other neighbor and say, turn you. Turn you. And take your journey. It's time to continue your journey. Huh? Every demon that has held you and stopped your journey, today, the chains are broken. I remove those shackles from your legs in the name of Jesus. I release you spiritually and physically. 
Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody say, Amen. Somebody shout, Turn you. It means your life is changing direction. Complete direction. This is the moment when God forces your life to change direction. To change the 11th month is meant for a change in direction. And interestingly, that 11th month falls into our election. Did you hear what I just said? I said, unfortunately, for the ancients that have bound us and turned us into their footstools, they will hear how the feet hurts this month. Because at the end of the month, there will be people without legs. God will cut off their legs in this country and chop off their hands in this country. And if they still shout, he will cut off their heads. I told you it's a month of limbs scattering everywhere. Their tentacles will be removed. One by one. By the way God is going to conduct the election. Those of you who came to our last meeting, I mean, was it the crossover? Is the crossover. I will reconnect with that on Sunday. I told you about the two spirits I saw sent. One was called what? Divine election. The other one was called? Intervention. You think they are the same thing? They are not. That's why I said God is a master game player too. Because even me asked him, they are all divine. Divine election. He said anywhere they go, they will meet one of those spirits looking at them in the eye. The divine is going to overrule them everywhere. Anywhere you enter, the divine hand of God will overrule. I'm going to connect the visions together by Friday. Because we are getting closer to the election. But let's not run away from there. When you eat of this flesh, you are turning and taking your journey in a new direction. Can you say, Heavenly Father, hold that flesh again. And say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, break the patterns in my life that have not allowed me to grow further and enter to my next level. In this, in this month, I receive the spirit of your word to turn me and take a journey in another direction. I receive the power of that turning and the spirit that makes me turn by this vow that I eat with you and I share with you and I make with you in Jesus name. Through the flesh of Jesus, I receive your mandate to move around, to move, to move forward and take my journey in Jesus' name. Can you bite it again? Don't bite all. It's deliberate. That's the pattern he gave me for today. You will forgive me. It's a covenant between you and him. If you have mistakenly finished all, because uh, some of you are laughter, <laughs> it's making me become afraid that your hand might be empty. Uh, you look at the usher and beg them. It's a mercy. Uh, no, you still have. If you still have, hold. Are you sure it's not the last one you are going to take? Channels of my spirit open up. I am with the Father. Open up. Open up. Open up.
And unto all the places, night there unto, in the plain, in the hills, in the vale, everywhere you enter, whether valley or uh, and this thing will become a blessing. In the south, by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, unto Lebanon, even beyond the Canaanites. Don't forget it was Canaan they took them to. But he took them beyond Canaan to rule foreign nations. Say to the land of Lebanon. Unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Take them, take them, just take them. Today, I release you to take all your lands. So when he said turn, turn from the direction they have been forcing you to go before. And turn away to the new direction. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Somebody shout, turn in the name of Jesus. That's the mystery of tonight. Unfortunately, I can't see the verses there. The way they are placed. But Oh, like I said, I wish you knew all the songs. There is one that says, all shall be well. La, 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 la. Let me drop the ancient upon you. Then your understanding and your eyes. Because that is what is happening in the spirit. That is what I hear angels singing. All is well with all of you. Everywhere you enter, it shall be well. That is the announcement. That I'm hearing the angels make everywhere you enter. If somebody has found that hymn, let him give him. If he doesn't want to sing it, give it to the next person or bring it to me here. I will lead the chorus. I will lead the song myself. It's very important that we understand that our new song will be all shall be well. All shall be well. Somebody say, all will be well. All there is no doubt about that. All will be well. That is a song I hear. All will be well. All will be well. And the Bible says in verse 8, Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. Every promise God gave you before, in this one year, that promise will be fulfilled. Everything I swore, I swore, enter the land, turn, and move inside to the veil, the valley. There will be no valley that is deep anymore that eateth you, that destroys you. The valley will be to come green grass for you. Blessing for you. Even if the devil 
carried you through a mountain, he will take you to the well of life there. Did you hear what I said? Anywhere they turn you into. I asked somebody today, what do you want to become? He said, the way things are going. Let him put me where I will be the most effective person. I said, you are a wise man. I said, because you are going to get a position. So if I ask you which position you want, tell me. And he looked at me. He knew it was a test question. But he spoke from his heart. He said, sir, I don't want to strive anymore. Let him take me where I will be the most effective so that I can be remembered for something. You will be remembered for something. I say you will be remembered for something. You will be remembered for something. In the name of Jesus, God will recover your life for you. And I got excited. But there is nobody with that hymnal here. You think I've forgotten about it? Through the love of God, our Savior, all shall be well. Free and changeless is his favor. Through tribulation 
name now verse 8 while you are standing says in Deuteronomy chapter 1 behold I have set I the Lord have set the land Deuteronomy 1 8 I have set the land before you go in and do what somebody shout possess have set up the land before you. Go in. I, the Lord, have set it up. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore, swore unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and their seed after them. Everything you have seen in your dreams, I declare them a reality today. Because it is by visions God gives possessions. Can you begin to thank God for tonight? Give him glory. Can you thank him for visiting your life? And that this last bit of the flesh, as you eat it, let you become the seal of covenant between you and him forever. That all must be well. All is already well. All has to become well. That is what you eat last. It is well with my soul. That is what you eat last. It is well with my soul. Can you just hold that to him and say thank you Lord. For the gift of your son Jesus Christ. I receive this flesh with thanksgiving and I give you glory. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for the covenant and the oath in your flesh. I eat it now that I become one with your purpose and I give you glory for making me one with your purpose. In Yeshua's name I pray and somebody say amen. You may eat please and as you eat let all your gates open. Then the blood, just wave it to the Lord. Just tell him, thank you. By two witnesses, a word is, your word is established. By this second sacrament, let your word be established in my life. Let the witness of the blood go before me from now. Crying out, Abba Father. Crying out, Abba Father. Receive the witness of the blood as you drink of that sacred blood. Be sealed in that sacred covenant in Yeshua's name. You may drink of the blood, please. Now, let me speak the blessing that go with that and we close tonight. Verse 11 is a blessing. Of that Deuteronomy chapter 1. And we close tonight. You can tell everyone Happy New Year around you. And you can go back and watch things happen. A lot of drama is coming up. In the coming months. Can you tell your neighbor. See you 
in your land full of milk and honey. On the other side of Jordan, where there is milk and honey, prepared already for you and prepared for me. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more. Make you a thousand times so many more as ye are. That means whatever blessings you have today, they will multiply a thousand times more. And bless you as he had promised you. Now and forevermore. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, somebody shout hallelujah. Now, take a seat. And we're dancing. A very big seat. So double it. Because of the covenant you have made. Put it in that beautiful envelope. And if you don't have an envelope, don't worry. Envelope or no envelope. Your, your blessing is settled. Can you wave it and just bless the Lord for today? Give him glory. Give him praise. Apostle Mike, welcome. I'm so glad to see you. You hear them still shouting. After many years, they can still shout. You see? Somebody shout hallelujah. Can you wave that to the Lord? Father, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the unveiling of life to us. Thank you for the months ahead. Thank you for deliverance. Even thank you for those who will die for our sake. And thank you for those you will send to meet our needs for our sake. Thank you for the movement of the land and the earth and the heavens for our sake. Today, we bring you a wave offering. A thanksgiving by covenant. We seal this agreement by covenant. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. amen. And if you feel led to join our partnership in our accounts, in keeping our salaries going, thank God for the responses that are coming. Listen to me. We have now decided that by covenant in the ministry, all members, by the covenant of sacrifice, we will keep renewing covenant month by month with the Lord. I don't know what the equivalent of five shekels is now and 15 shekels. Maybe we will do it by the current value, Israeli value. We'll send it. But we want as much as you can every month. Renew your covenant of life with God month by month from now. Did you hear what I just said? You will take it and say, Lord, I renew my covenant of life for my family. Blow your wind over me. I'm writing an apostolic letter to all to explain how it works. But please, starting this month, just calculate it. I don't know the shekel value. Who was in the embassy in Israel once here and worked in Israel? What is the current value of the shekel? To a dollar and to a naira by conversion. We are going to enter into agreement with the kind of vines God is going to build for you. This will look like small change. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. And we will keep a monthly covenant by giving. Unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. He said you shall command that. Like they do in Israel. You shall command that. All through generations. And you will give for your children. You will give for yourself. And you will give as you are led. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Can we take a song of victory? And let the first row, first of all, step forward and drop their seat. In the name of Jesus. Do you know the God is a mighty God? Do you know the God is a faithful God? Do you know the God is a mighty God? Do you know the God is a faithful God? This place we release you by the covering of the Lord God Almighty and we declare that this season this year shall be a good year for you in the name of Jesus every harvest that it is ordained for you in this year according to the word that has gone forth we decree you will return here with testimonies in the name of Jesus you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the field you are blessed when you go and when you come in Jesus' mighty name of prayer, Amen. <laughs> 